The phrase romanticize your life has emerged on social media as a call to action. Who made that call? Who said that? Portia would say, who said that? <laughs> it asks us to appreciate what we have right in front of us and to live with intention. No matter how mundane our daily rituals might be, it's a reminder to look for moments of beauty and embrace minimalism. So let's discuss the benefits of this. I, it's kind of, well, let me read it because I feel minimalism and romance don't match up. Right? Right? Yeah. Seemingly. It's seemingly. But if you listen to these people. Yeah, apparently um, it does. Okay. Yeah, because they're saying romanticizing your life is a form of mindfulness. And when you think of mindfulness, sometimes sometimes you think it's about um, clearing your thoughts and doing nothing. But that's really not what it's about. It's being aware of what's happening around you without attaching any judgment to it and accepting things as they are. It can be as simple as paying full attention to what you see and what you hear. And if you do this, it says, mindfulness can reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression, and general irritability. Mm. So I guess taking away these things from your life is a form of romanticizing. Mm. I guess romanticizing in this case would mean leveling out and just being the best for yourself. Yeah. Mm. Okay. As opposed so that's to- That's a different way I'm mm -hmm. looking at it. Because when romanticizing, Thinking about I'm top and, and glossed and, and oh, yes, oh. yes, for sure. <laughs> um, it says it, it can also reaffirm what you already <coughs> love to do and help you to enjoy those things more. So uh, apparently the trend took off early in the pandemic. A lot of people are isolated from larger communities and activities that had previously shaped their sense of self. So they thought, hey, listen, what's the best way to do this? It's to... Um, just love the things that you do, basically. Get reacquainted with yourself. Try to connect with what brings you joy, which is where focusing on simple pleasures come in. Mm -hmm. Ah, I get it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're someone who naturally takes a walk, you can turn your phone off or maybe listen to something that really calms you down. If you like to take long showers, you can think about how hot the water feels against your skin. I, I, I think the pandemic did force us to do that too not take for granted the simple things yep, yep, yep. Yeah. and also to find the magic in mundane moments which is the next one mm. you know the, the the time that you spend on the bus the time that you spend in the taxi the time that you spend you know complaining about other things they say um romanticizing your life as a gratitude exercise is about finding your thing or things and cultivating a practice around them right yeah so um if you're on the bus and it's a pack Boston, what is there in that moment that you can sit and think about that you're grateful for, that you can, you know, organize in your mind while you try and still yourself mm -hmm. um, is a way of romanticizing your life, it says. Yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting take because, you know, a lot of people come to Jamaica and um, they romanticize our island. You know, they think about, oh my gosh, I'd love to visit Jamaica. Oh my gosh, if I came to Jamaica, these are the things that I love to see, but I think because we live here, mm -hmm. we don't romanticize mm -hmm. our own mm -hmm. place of abode. Mm -hmm. And if we think about it- You don't romanticize where you vacation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if we think about it and we begin to romanticize our own beaches, our own, you know, cultural sites, our own attractions, wow, what a powerful movement that would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a, <laughs> I hear you, Soji. Mm -hmm. I hear you, some of that romancing, Come, money. come with money mm -hmm. but, but 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 for the things that are free though because you see what i'm naming things that are within the tourism belt but things that are outside of it we have some some beautiful places that are free uh, but and if we and if we just go visit them we have to be deliberate about it eh? we have to be deliberate mm -hmm. okay produce how to romanticize your life one make a fancy morning beverage but i love what miss marva the coffee or the tea is good yeah, enough for me. I love what Miss Marva gave me. I'm <laughs> going to romanticize what Miss Marva gave me. <laughs> Wear your favorite stylish outfits. Clothes make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Create a curated playlist for your life. Music always makes everything better, mm -hmm. I find. Mm -hmm. Engage your senses to make car rides feel fun. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have a car, your bus ride or your taxi ride. Or the walk. Ride, or or the while walk. you're walking. Or the walk. Right? Um, Go on a movie date with yourself. 
-hmm. Take a walk in nature. Um, buy yourself a bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. Cook meals delicious you love. homemade meals. Mm -hmm. Burn scented candles at home. Yes. Or read a book. Read a book. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something in there for you. What would you add to that list? Rest. <laughs> ah. But we don't romanticize ah, sleep enough. Brilliant. Get yourself a comfy pillow. Brilliant. brilliant. Nice mattress. Brilliant. Uh, yes. I think we underestimate the importance of sleep yes. to our well-being. Yes. If you don't get enough sleep, it literally can kill you. It can interfere with your skin. It interferes with your routine. It's very important. And I find a lot of my counterparts my friends, my colleagues are complaining mm -hmm. that they're just not I'm sleep. getting enough sleep. Then I, I don't care sleep. Mm -hmm. I think produce mine, one day mine, we can do something is, on insomnia. Mind yes, is overworking. No, but the mind is always going. Mm -hmm. And so once upon a time we used to just want to sit in bed. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, hear. No. You're in another bed and you say, oh my God, if I fall asleep, I'm not going to get to send this or, letter. Or if you sleep. It's not real rest, you wake up tired, or if you sleep, you sleep in sports, so you get a three hours, yeah. and then you're wide awake, yeah. praying for two more. Yeah. So that's something that I think we, we, we yeah. could look at. Yes. Show sure, actually, because yes. it's something that I find a whole heap of my counterpart. Well, romanticize the rest, man. Get a nice shower, a bath if you have one, and then climb into the bed, turn on little music, light a candle. I'm gonna try it. And, and sing a song? Yes, you have you have even th those things, sounds that they mm -hmm. put together. And the calm apps and such. That help you to sleep. Showers, rainfall, yeah. beaches. Just turn it on, man. True. true. Try it and tell us. If it were. We're going to try it too and tell you. We're romanticizing okay. sleep. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's it for this segment, is it not? It is, Sim. So where are we going next? The chef has never... Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're going to find out. I wonder if Nefro going to grab a national bag for us. You think he will carry something? No, Me? Somebody might have to grab it and give him. 